All right, gang. It's Harold Dufresne with After Show Chat, and today I'm uh, we're going to uh, Nola Picnic Provisions and Whiskey. Um, I've never been here. I never come to this part of the city. It's uh, near uh, Ottoman Park area on Magazine Street. Um, so we're over here. And uh, let me let me turn this around. There's Mrs. Dufrenny. Picnic provision. Now the reason I'm eating here today, um, I want a $50 gift card, and I'm gonna go get it, and we're gonna give it a shot. We're gonna give it a shot over here, and uh, and see what we got. I'll review it. I'll eat free. Now I'm not gonna let my gift card winning bias me towards the food. I'm going to give you my honest opinion, but here we are. I'll call it NOLA Picnic, uh, but it's NOLA Provisions, Picnic Provisions and Whiskey, but I'll just call it NOLA Picnic for my sake on this review. So let's head on in and go check All it right, out. Alright gang, I'm inside, uh, we'll just call it NOLA Picnic Provisions and Whiskey, NOLA Picnic, and uh, I just ordered and uh, what I got was the thigh plate, it's fried chicken, because it's a picnic place, I guess that's, people come get their fried chicken and then go to Ottoman Park right up the road over there and have a picnic, like I used to in the old days with my mom and dad. Um, so I got the thigh plate, two pieces of chicken. Um, the, the good thing they have about here, it, it you can get it with either two kinds of seasonings, crawfish boil or home style seasoning. So I got mine with crawfish boil seasoning, of course, because I, you know, I love crawfish boil. Mrs. Dufresne got hers home style seasoning, so maybe we'll get, she let me taste hers and compare it. I got some boudin egg rolls. Uh, I got a Cajun potato salad. Listen to this description: sweet corn chopped egg topped with crushed jalapeno zaps chips and crumbled bacon. Wow, that sounds like an amazing Cajun potato salad. I don't know what to expect from there. And Mrs. Dufresne got her fries. That's normal. I'm not a fry person. Mrs. Dufresne loves her fries. And you get a biscuit with your thigh plate. I told her, you know, I, I had $50 to spend. So, you know, we got boudin egg rolls and two sides. But came up to 51 bucks. Um, but we're going to give it a taste, test in a little bit. People were very nice. I had no problem getting my gift card that I want. I won the gift card on Instagram. Uh-oh, somebody just dropped the glass back there. But anyway, I won that. There was no problem. Um, they, they were very nice. They got it to me. And uh, we're going to try out their food and give it a shot. And I'll tell you what I think when it comes. Mm, can't wait to try them boudin egg rolls. Can't wait to try that crab boil seasoning fried chicken, too. Mmm, mm. getting hungry, aren't you, Mrs. Dufresne? Mm -hmm. All right, we'll be right back. Okay. While waiting for the for our food, let me uh, give you a little uh, look at this place. It's a nice little quaint place. Um, nice, you go order at the counter, and uh, you go over here, and uh, you go order, and uh, hi. All right, thank you. Now I'm good right now. Oh, gang, um, I'm sorry. While we were talking just now, they brought out boudin egg rolls. They look like boudin egg rolls. So let me give you a look at, look see what we got over here. So look at that. They have, they actually wanted pepper jelly dip or barbecue sauce. I got the pepper jelly uh, dip. Looks good. I wish I would have brought a little plate maybe to, to, to do it. Um, Maybe we gotta go ask, but uh, we're gonna. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna see if we get another plate or something. But we're gonna give these. I tell you what, I don't need no plate. I'm gonna try them right now and let you know what I think of them. Right over here. Put a little pepper jelly on there. Hmm. Hmm. Tastes like boudin. I like it. Mmm. Really different. It's like a boudin sausage in an egg roll wrapper. Oh, nothing wrong with them. Ooh, they have a little kick. I don't know if it's the pepper jelly or 
Oh, the moon hen. That's a little kick, huh? A little, a little spicy. It is good, huh? They are good. I was worried. I was looking at Mrs. Dufresne's face, and she was, like, not giving me no emotion. I didn't know if she liked it or not. But, how, again, I don't know if it's the boudin egg roll that's spicy or the pepper jelly. Mmm. I'll be honest with you. I'm not a big boudin fan. And these are much better than boudin, I think. For me, because I don't like boudin. Man, these are excellent, aren't they? Very, very good. Dang, that gets an A on that beta man scale. And I forgot to take a picture. I'll take a picture of the two left before Mrs. Dufresne dips into the second one. Um, but here we go, the boudin egg rolls. Dang, so far so good. That gets an A on the beta man scale that we don't use no more. And five crabs. Mm. Can't wait to try that fried chicken now. See them a little bit. All right, gang, our food came. Look at that. Look at those big chicken thighs. Look at that biscuit. Uh, some kind of mayo. This is, what is this called? Crystal's pepper pulp. Some Militon pickles. If you don't know what Militon is, it's a vegetable. And they make Militon pickles. Ooh, I got a uh, Cajun potato salad. That looks very, very unique and I can't wait to try it. Mrs. D got her food. She got some fry sauce in there too, it looks like. Is that good, Mrs. D? So far, so good for you? I'm gonna try mine. Um, Mrs. D D's eating, but I'm gonna try mine and uh, give it a shot here. So I got the crawfish boil fried chicken thighs. Now you can get the tenders, but I got the chicken thighs. Ooh good let's try this out can't wait to try it oh, here we go <laughs> I could definitely tell taste the the crawfish boil taste in it seafood boil it's not too spicy but it has that seafood boil taste it's very, very good, very hot, very fresh. Let me dip in a little bit of this mayo right here and see. That was a lemon miso mayo. Hmm, that's good too. I'm wondering if this pepper pulp is hot. I'm gonna try a little bit before I put on my chicken. Hmm, never had pepper pulp, if it were, and uh, nice flavor. Not too much of a kick, it's just a good flavor. Let's try this Cajun potato salad. That was really curious to try. Oh, I don't want to spill it. <laughs> I never had anything like this. Um, potato salad. It has potato chips, zaps, jalapeno potato chips, crumbles on the top. They have bacon on it. It's a good potato salad. I give that potato salad a B. Four crabs for sure. Mrs. Dufresne is gonna let me try her home style chicken thigh. You see that? That's good too. Let me try one more piece of this. I'm gonna give you my final thoughts. Then I'm gonna go to eat. You get a lot of chicken. You say two pieces. Oh, that won't be enough. This is some big pieces of chicken over here. I'm gonna show you again. But mmm, that crawfish ball. For myself, I prefer my crawfish ball fried chicken than Mrs. Dufresne's home style. But I'm telling you, there ain't nothing wrong. I hate, it's fried chicken, but it's hot, it's fresh, it's boneless like we like. And I give this five crabs, I'm gonna be honest with you. Five crabs, um, 
uh, A on the beer man skewer that we don't, ooh, you know what? I never tried my Militone pickles. Mmm, very unique. And I did try my biscuit. Dang. Overall, I know people are gonna say, oh, it's just fried chicken. But Mrs. D, what do you think? It's pretty good, huh? Very good. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. Five crabs. And look, I'm not just saying that because I got a $50 gift card. I'm, I'm being honest. Five crab, A on the beat a man skill that we don't use no more. Great stuff. I'm going back and eat. I'm going to beat this back in a little bit with my final All right, thought. gang. <clears throat> Let's head over to the car there. And uh, so, thank you. Have a nice day. Bye. All right, gang, so we finished eating up over here at uh, uh, NOLA Provisions uh, Picnic, I guess you would call it. I'll call it NOLA Picnic. Now, look, everything was great. I, the biscuit, um, the biscuit, uh, the biscuit, um, you know, when we were eating it, it wasn't my style of biscuit. I'll just put it that way. Mrs. Dufresne didn't care for hers either. But, I mean, it's a buttermilk biscuit. It was a big, thick biscuit. Um, some people may like that kind. I, I didn't care for the biscuits. But it wasn't bad. But give the biscuit like a C. But everything else was A quality. Um, we're walking back to the car. We're in the, the uh, I guess you would call it Garden District near the zoo area. Ottoman Zoo. Look. Food was great, <clears throat> A for sure for the fried chicken, thighs. It was too much. Uh, we would have been satisfied with one with our Buna egg rolls. We couldn't even finish that second piece. We tried and um, it would have traveled well if we would have took it home with us because we're going to other places in Yalian. But I'm gonna tell you, it's the overall um, A, A experience. Now, saying that, me and Mrs. Dufresne is not people that's gonna go eat fried chicken, okay? So, when I mean, it, it was great. Um, if you're looking for fried chicken around the Ottoman Park area, that this is a great area over here to come to. I could definitely see coming get some five piece over here and and feeding, you know, going have a picnic in the in Ottoman Park before you go to the zoo or just, just to do it. But we're not big fried chicken people, but overall the experience was great. Um, I mean, you can't go wrong, right? Yeah, better than Popeyes. Maybe Mrs. Dufresne has a different opinion than that, but I think it is. It was good, very good, she said. So gang, till next time, this is Harold Dufresne with After Show Chat. Later, peeps.